Welcome to Go Mustang Sports. I am Dave McHugh, joined by women's volleyball coach Dave Trumbo. Coming off of a semifinal win in conference tournament action, heading into the championship. A lot to talk about there, but let's back up a little bit. Talk about the weekend that you guys had in non-conference action, Lynchburg and Muhlenberg. You and I talked about how this was an important weekend going in. You guys played pretty good volleyball. We did, as did the other teams. Really sure. competitive weekend. Uh, started off with Muhlenberg. They were... Uh, fifth in the region, we yeah, were fourth, right. so I probably couldn't have scripted it any better. <laughs> to be able to play you know, yeah. somebody of that caliber the last week of the season trying to get ourselves ready uh, for the conference tournament. We were able to get by Muhlenberg uh, three to one. It was 25-23 or 22 in that fourth mm. set, so it was a great match, really good match. Of course, you beat them 3-1. Lynchburg then beat some 3 0 sweeps yeah. them. Not that this is a story about Muhlenberg. They get knocked right out of the regional rankings with those two losses. That's how much was on the line with this weekend. You then take on Lynchburg, and you have to survive 3-2. Yeah, Lynchburg was fired up. I mean, I kept thinking, when are you going to calm down over there? I mean, they were really <laughs> fired up, and they jumped out to a 2-1 lead. Our kids looked tired. I'm thinking, oh, my gosh. And so we tied it up 2-2, and basically that regional ranking came down to that fifth set. Yeah. Uh, Got off to a 7-1 lead mm. and just coasted. And in a 15-point, we've mentioned it before, yeah. in a 15-point game in the fifth set, 7-1 is a huge oh, deficit huge. to make yeah. up for. Yeah, you, it's real difficult. you got 10 do. less points. Yeah. And we're, we're 3-0 in five-set matches. So the bench, everybody just comes alive, and we just go out there. And fortunately, this year, we've been able to do great things in the fifth set. We'll talk about the regional rankings in a little bit, but you stay fourth as a result of that. Certainly an important weekend in that sense, but also important this week is the conference tournament. You get a nice uh, win over Lycoming in what looks like the team is starting to really start to gel, really starting to play well at the right time. You you win that semi-easily 3-0. Lycoming it, it beat Widener in the 4-5 right. game. Widener is... You know, they played Lebanon Valley to 3-2. Right. They played us tough. All the games were in the 20s. So if we're thinking we're going to play Widener, and Lycoming beats them 3-1 <laughs> right. and but comes down here, and sometimes the matchups sure. that you have with people, we and we were ready. We had two great days of practice, and that's probably one of the best matches. Take away who was on the other side. We just sure. played great. Right. You know, we served the ball. 16 aces. That's incredible. You know, we hit over 300. We kept them below. They hit like 057. Uh, and they're a decent team. They were 18 and 16 coming in, but we just on all cylinders, you know. We, you know, and we are now pointing to Messiah. And Messiah is the big matchup coming up. Quick thing about the Lycoming game, though. You mentioned the 16 aces. Sammy was six of those. Uh, you know, it's 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 tough to ace in volleyball in general because there's so many people on the court. But to get six from one player, get 16 as a team, you're hitting well, you're defending well, everything does seem like it's in sync. As a coach, you've got to be pretty proud of that, but maybe trepidatious that how long does that run run? I, I really think it's going to go. Um, we have not played, okay, we should be able to beat Lycoming. Sure. Uh, easier said than done. Right. But that's the first time this year where we just went out and thumped somebody. Uh, we just played the way we can play for three straight matches. Nice. Uh, as by this time, our freshmen are no longer freshmen. Right. They've got 33 matches under their belt. So they're sophomores now. And uh, so we've got a lot of experience. We've got a lot of momentum flowing. And uh, you know, Annika Swartz, freshman, had uh, 13 kills, four aces, um, passed almost flawlessly. And as it did everybody, pass the ball really well last night, Alpha Serve received. So, real pleased, little surprised that Messiah got by like uh, Lebanon Valley so easily. Lebanon Valley yeah. beat them during the year. It was year. a grudge match, yeah. but, but you, you expected that to be a grudge match, literally maybe five-setter. Uh, and during the year, Lebanon Valley beat them 3 nothing, but all the games were really, really close. Right. Like two of them were two-pointers. So I'm thinking it's going to be like that one. The first game, it does 25-23 Messiah, but then after that they beat him good. Yeah, it wasn't so, even much of a match. So here we go. Third yeah. time in a row. I was going to say, here we go. Messiah back up, third time in a row. They would love to knock you oh, guys boy. off the table for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys are protecting the home court once again. Want that championship to yourself. There's a lot of ramifications before we get to those. How... How are you matched up with Messiah? You've had your battles with this team. You know they're coming gunning for you. How do you see yourselves lining up? Well, they have uh, who they have got two fantastic outside hitters, both from Carroll County, um, yeah. who were freshmen last year. 
So they're a lot more mature. Sure. And uh, they got in the championship last year, and I think we're a little bit shaky. Um, this year, I think that's different. But what they did lose, they lost their setter last year, who was their glue. So they've got a sophomore setter who's not been in this type, type sure. of game before. Uh, although when we played them up there, she played fantastic. Another Carroll County kid. They all were on the same club, and they all went to, Mas went to Messiah. Uh, so they're all sophomores. They've got four kids, all from Carroll County, that play a huge role in their team. Yeah. And, of course, I'm from Carroll County. Yeah. Our setter, it, Sarah Dawes, is from bit, Carroll County. It? Lauren Weaver, our right side, from Carroll County. Well, you can't get them all. We've got, you know, we've got our share. <laughs> we, not it sets up a nice rivalry there. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, Sarah was player of the year. Our setter was player yeah. of the year in Carroll County. Lauren Weaver, she was player of the year last year in Carroll County. Yeah. So, hey. <laughs> the, best, the best will face <laughs> off against each other. Well, it, it'll, and it'll be a great match, and we have a lot of respect for them. Sure. Uh, you know, to be honest, some teams, you know, you just don't like them that much. Yeah. Messiah's not one of those teams. Okay. You know, great kid. We, we like them. We're friends. I uh, have a lot of respect for him, so it's going to be a great match. So, obviously, a lot on the line, because you win the conference championship. That's one thing, but mm -hmm. that automatically gets you to the NCAA tournament. We mentioned earlier sitting fourth in the regional rankings, which is certainly a nice position to, to have. The teams ahead of you most likely are in autom or will win their automatic yeah. bids, which so meaning if you were to lose your first at the table. But you don't want to risk that. that. You mean, also might mean, you might slip back. Right. You want to win this to get in oh, and yeah. guarantee your spot. And winning gets in, even gives you maybe a better seating, as it right. were, in the tournament to avoid maybe some of the big fish early. Yes, that's. You don't know if we would not win on Saturday, how far are we going to fall? Right. All right, Messiah is regionally ranked. Okay, so. Um, that's it, it's I, helpful, but yeah. it may not be right. totally helpful. Right, and it, so it may help them depend, more than it helps you. It's going to depend on what Haverford does. Haverford and Swarthmore sure. are the two that are underneath us, both from Centennial, and they may meet each other right. in the finals. Um, There's too much at stake, too much up in the air, too right. much juggling. Can't take the chance. Well, yeah. obviously, we're not going to take the chance. chance yeah. But uh, yeah, and and we want to get a good seed. We'd like to avoid Eastern Juniata and Christopher Newport in that first round. You know, and if you're the fourth seed, or one of them goes somewhere else, well, if Christopher Newport hosts, are they going to bring Juniata all the way down? Right. Or are they going to send them to another region? Right. If it's all about closeness and proximity for travel, so all of a sudden yeah. Juniata is in a different region, and we're a third seed. Yeah. You know, if we win. Sure. You know, so and then we get a six seed. So you didn't really want to go through, get through that first round, get your feet wet, and then go after them like you know worked out for us last year. We certainly don't want to assume you won't make the NCAA tournament, but there will be postseason play most likely the following weekend anyway. But how do you get the team focused on? Listen, we need to secure more than just making the NCAA tournament. Uh, I don't even think that's a problem. Sammy's probably got that covered. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Sammy and Megan, golly, they're, they're like. What have we lost five matches? So there may be 130 and 15. That's incredible. They've gone to the NCAA's three years in a row, and each year we go a step farther. Yeah. So, uh, and well, we do have seven freshmen, but the rest of the team, they know that it's not good enough just to get there. You'd like to get to Christopher Newport for that uh, final weekend. Yeah, we we'll have not played them. Yeah. yeah well, well, I mean, for yeah, the final weekend. We're going to have to go through them. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but you'd like to continue to go to that campus if you could. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> it would be. Um, you talk, we've talked about players throughout the year that have stepped up or have had good seasons. One of them you mentioned already, freshman uh, Schwartz, really outside hitting, has really stepped up for you, has really had a good season. And you said in the past week she's had a really good week. She's had a really good couple of matches. She played pretty well when, against the um, second, third, and fourth ranked teams in the region. Uh, she's been playing really well. Um, the whole team's been playing well. Both of the outsides, Chris, Kristen Brooks has been unbelievable um, defensively uh, in the back row. She's our other outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and now Lauren Weaver's starting to really play well on the right side, another freshman. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah Bollinger, our setter, I think she's playing the best she has all year. And Meg Miller, our, our middle, um, had a couple of, you know, hit 370 in one of the matches over the weekend. Wow. And then I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about Kelly McKenzie, who uh, has stepped in uh, for Kelsey Stave, who's back with, out with an injury. Right. Uh, Kelsey McKenzie against Muhlenberg has her career game. That's incredible. 20 swings, 12 kills. Wow. Yeah, so and two errors, so she hits 500, gets a couple of blocks, and... Um, Six one, she's gaining lots of confidence. So I th we're right in the right spot. I was gonna say, really hitting your stride at the yeah. right time of the year. Yeah, there's no, there's no question, and I think they can feel it too. Well, it's certainly been fun to watch. One more game of the regular season 
Conference Championship coming up at Owings Mills State, or Gymnasium, I should say. It'll be against Messiah. The game will take place at 2 p.m. You can certainly watch it online at GoMustangSports.com or just show up to the gym to watch the championship game there. And, of course, then we'll wait, I believe, was it Monday? You will find out uh, what the NCAA tournament uh, results will be. So Monday at 11, we will find out where Stevenson is headed in the NCAA tournament. For Coach Dave Trumbo, I'm Dave McHugh. You, we will check in with the team next week before that uh, postseason action takes place, find out how things shaped up and how they're looking moving forward. You're watching Go Mustang Sports.